Welcome to another installment of Test Chamber. I'm Matt Miller. I'm joined by Jeff Cork. Hi, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Yeah. We're checking out a little bit of Guitar Hero Live, the second of the big music games that are out this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Rock Band 4 made its big return debut, its reunion tour, you might say. Let's uh, say it. Not so long ago. Uh, and now we have this interesting game, Guitar Hero Live. I think is what I call in my review the wild card of this year's music game scene. Really different. Yep. Let's Even though like both have guitars in boxes, they have gone in completely different directions. If you can yep. imagine that. So, so we're diving right in. We're gonna check out some of these, uh, uh, some of the live mode first. Just a, yeah. a quick taste. I'm gonna take you into the all girl British pop band. All right. You know I know your taste, Jeff. You know it. It's all girl British pop bands. That's right. That's all, all you listen to at home, right? All. Uh, I'll turn the radio off if anything else. I'm plays. actually showing you this because it kind of cracks me up. The live mode is so earnest and so weird and silly and insane. And I actually really like it. I know that there's going to be people who don't like it and who think it's cheesy and, and, and stupid. Yes. But that's actually what I love about it. I was not into it until I played the game and I thought like I got a demo. Like look at that. Like it's so fun. Like the idea that this is like you're seeing through the eyes of the guitarist of this all girl British pop band. You're yep. about to go out on stage on this ridiculous stage. These these fans are so excited. Look at yep. them. Look how just thrilled they are to be here. It's all for you Miller. Raise the roof. Uh, and uh, <laughs> and here we go. We're going we're gonna to get some uh Get some pop action going on here. So now, it's a very different feel from Rock Band. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, I think, for one thing, I should point out that I'm going to be talking while I uh, do this. I don't know how you're even going <laughs> to do this, because I can't do this by itself. So, good luck. Well, so we can see a little bit first of what one of the big things that's different. We have two rows of three buttons that I'm playing. The, the white and the black. And each this kind of changes the dynamic of play where it's it feels more like playing a, like chords, I think yeah. you could say. Yep, definitely. Um, and I like that. Uh, I don't like necessarily like it more than the rock band structure. I just like that it's different mm -hmm. and that it, it kind of is a different dynamic or fantasy. Uh, of like how you play the guitar, and the guitars are completely happen. incompatible. Too. They are indeed. This is you can't like get one this year and know that you can play that guitar on the other game. So now, as you start to suck it up, yeah, I'm just assuming that that is a possibility. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, the band, the everyone will react to it. Now, is there like a nice visual indicator that it's about to happen? Yeah. So you get it's pretty subtle. Well, as subtle as they can make it. It's like a like a spotlight flashes in your eyes up on stage. I'm gonna actually kind of really start to screw up on purpose now, okay. and you can see how things suddenly go terribly wrong. Look how ticked off <laughs> she is suddenly. Boo. This, this is the other thing I love about this. I, I'm a big fan of games that find ways to make losing fun. Yeah. Uh, Burnout 3 was one of the first games that did that for me way back in the day. When when you crashed, <laughs> it was amazing. And I, this is amazing to me. <laughs> look how how ticked off that ba that uh, drummer is, and and look at the actual the crowd members. Turn it off. They've got a <laughs> suddenly they've got a sign. Someone brought that uh, all the way from their car. And, just in case. And because I triggered star power there, it suddenly popped back into yep. like. They're all happy. Yep. So it's basically like two videos, right? It's You've exactly. Got happy, it's two sad. Videos. Happy, sad. They raise the roof. It says now, not um, off. And I don't know. I know it's. I know it's goofy. I know it's over the top and sort of melodramatic. Let's see if we can we can go bad again and see what happens. But I like that they did that instead of just another like here's some like CG puppets <laughs> on the screen, kind of doing a pretty mediocre pantomime of I know. what's happening. The the singer is not happy with me right now. I'm just I've just stopped playing now. And can you fail out of this? Turn the we'll... power off. <laughs> Have you ever gone to a concert and brought a sign? Turn yes. the power off. It's on the reverse side that I usually <laughs> hold on. Exactly. But just in case, you never know. Uh, so we'll start playing again here. Um, you do have star power. Um, in this case, uh, I have one star power that I can trigger right now. The vocalist isn't helping by the fact she's not paying any attention to the crowd she's just staring at you but whatever uh 
But let's, well, we're almost done with this song here. So we'll yeah. finish this one out, and then I'll show you the beginning of one other song from one of these 10 fictitious bands that they've created for this game. Um, each of these bands has their own backstory. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, they love me now. Yep. They just love me. BFFs. And this makes sense because you're, it would be weird for oh, them. It's great. The metal band that they show at the beginning, yeah. for them to be playing this song would be kind of silly. Yes. Uh, by the way, just so people know, there's there's four or sorry, there's five difficulties. Basic, by the way, is just literally for for very young children, basically, okay. or someone who has absolutely no sense of of rhythm, I guess. So like a Joe Juba type. <laughs> Joe Juba, it's weirdly enough, pretty good at music games. Well, he plays guitar here on Rock Band with a controller, though, <laughs> like a traditional like the thing that you would use to play Halo. I he, remember watching him he play Rock Band. Approaches music games like like they're like a a button pressing challenge there there's no sense of like the musicality of it it's for him finger ddr what we're getting off know. topic anyway. here though uh regular is, is 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 very doable for for the average player i think advanced and expert even if you're an expert player on old school rock band guitar hero mm -hmm. that's where you're going to start having some trouble i was playing on ed advanced just then expert is genuinely challenging after many many hours with the game when i was reviewing it uh, I still struggle on mm -hmm. some of the expert songs, uh, even though I, I've come at it with years and years of, of, of playing. Um, so let's take a look. At, I, I want to show you guys Don't the festival gallery where they've actually on. created these, these like, okay, so these are the yearbook day. ghosts, right? <laughs> okay, so and the there's actual, like, information about these fictitious band members. They've That's created awesome. whole stories around who these people are. Um, the Quantum Freaks. And you are always you. Well, the, guns, the like guitarist for hire, is that how this works? I don't know. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. You are always this sort of guitarist who uh, is in the mix, but um, I don't know if you're always meant to be the same person necessarily. Okay. Um, but let's let's go see somebody who's just really different. Let's go to Broken Tide, which was the band that they first introduced the game with. Oh yeah, um, they seem like a like a none of these guys belong in the same band together. <laughs> uh, and th these like pre-show ritual things also really crack me up. Gotta get all limber. Oh, getting limbered up. The drummer. Uh, I I often. I often really like the roadies. Those are my favorite characters. <laughs> yeah. How excited they are yep. about you going out on stage. Because I know uh, actual roadies yep. really don't care. No. Nope. Uh, but I wanted to show you just the beginning of a song over here. Show you that like they've actually done different stages and different setups mm -hmm. for each of the ten bands and where they're playing, uh, which is pretty interesting. Um. So, I don't know. I think the live mode is is brief but fun. There's yeah. about I think there's 42 songs, and you go through two different sort of music festivals along the way. One set in Britain, mm -hmm. and one set here in the States. Um, and taken together, it's a fun little experience that is different. It's just novel yeah. from what uh, previous music games. Uh, have been. And that's a word I've used a lot to describe Guitar Hero this year, novel, mm -hmm. uh, which is, I think, a good thing. Even though uh, when I pass down my personal verdict about these games, I, I think Rock Band is the better game this year. I think Guitar Hero is the much more innovative and, and in some ways interesting game this year. Yeah. But it has some problems that we're going to talk about that mainly stem from the other and more significant mode of the game, right? which is the Guitar Hero TV mode. So you'll note that when you kind of start things out, out you're actually at, it's straight up two, almost two different games. The TV mm -hmm. mode is completely separate. It's online only. Uh, you have to connect up to it. If you're not plugged into your network, you cannot play this mode. Um, and it has a huge library of songs. It starts out at, even at launch with 200 songs that you can play. Um, but there's some caveats on that. There's some pretty significant caveats. <laughs> there are, are indeed. Uh, so we're hopping in right now. You have a selection of... Uh, and you just jumped in and it just kicked you in here because as the name suggests, like this is live, this is streaming. Is. 
and I'm being matched against other people who are of a related skill level with me, and it's seeing how I can do it against them, which I'm going to tell you right now isn't going to be great because whatever skill I do have at this game is being tested into into a harder mode because I'm having to talk to you while we do it. Much as I love talking to you, I just say getting to it. <laughs> having to. Uh, and so, yeah, we only saw part of that music video mm -hmm. because we just came in on the music station yeah. as it was happening. Yeah. And as the song concludes, it'll hop us over into this sort of interstitial moment where it's going to give some scores and things like that. Um, Good work, guys. And, then, really and then basically and it's just on to the next song. You don't have any choice in, in what that song is going to be. You can choose a different channel. Mm -hmm. And at launch, they have two channels. But if one of the channels is currently indie rock and one is metal, and you don't want to play either of those at the moment that you turn on the game, mm -hmm. you're kind of out of luck there for the streaming channels. It's like you're in a town that just has two radio stations. Exactly. And... Now, thankfully, uh, in, as an alternative, there's two other significant alternatives for the way to interact with um, TV mode. One of them, the main one, is to go straight into the song catalog of all 200 songs and play whatever that you want to play. Mm -hmm. um, so we're actually going to do that as soon as we have an opportunity here. Um, this sort of top level menu is your guide around things. And we'll talk a little bit more about some of these features in a second. But if I just go into music and I go down to song catalog, I can see all these songs. If I start scrolling, it's going to take a long time. I noticed AFI, so I don't know why you were scrolling beyond that. <laughs> right. We get uh, one of oh. our, our old favorites <laughs> from original Guitar yep. Hero, right? Yep. More Than a Feeling from Boston. Um, and it's showing me, there's like the global leaderboard mm -hmm. on the right. Um, the Wild Fountains of Wayne are playing. Yeah, and uh, you have different song goals that you're going after. So for instance, I got three stars on that, but I didn't get a hot start yet on it. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, it's showing me the difficulty that I got my high score on up in the up in the side. Yep. But the other thing in the upper right that you should take note of is that little uh, bluish triangle with the number two beside it. That is the number of plays that I have. I earn plays by playing anywhere in TV mode, including here in the song library or through the streaming channels. Mm -hmm. uh, and I level up, and as I level up, I get more plays. But when I use, when I start a song, it uses that play. So I've just gone down from two to one play. Mm -hmm. Once I have no plays, I cannot play in the song library. God, if only there was a way that you could instantly get more coins. <laughs> so there's two ways that you can get more plays other than just leveling up and continuing to naturally get them. Mm -hmm. And one of them is to use the in-game currency. Um, that's where you hit like the thing, it was like 3,000 something or other that you had? Yes, exactly. And so uh, we've already kind of seen how this works. So I'm going to actually yeah. hop out. Oh my god, you just wasted a play coin. I know. Miller. No, that's OK. Um, anything, for, anything for you, Josh. Oh, geez. Um, we've got, so if I go into the store, I can go buy plays. Now, I can use my coins. For let's say get three wow, plays, three for, plays for, for eighteen hundred coins. Okay, that and keep in mind that I earn my coins at a rate of about a hundred to two hundred per song. Oh geez. Okay. So I can do that, or I can use hero cash. Mm -hmm. Hero cash is basically real money. Okay. If I want, so I, actually here I'll just go in and and look like I'm gonna gonna buy a thing. If I want that, um, I can say, would you like to buy some? Yes. And it's going to give me this option. And okay. I can buy hero cash for these sums. Now, to be clear, it is very cheap from of, of real money to mm -hmm. what you get. They, in, in some ways, it, it bothers me because it's so hard to get the coins in-game. Mm -hmm. But it's so easy to just spend, oh, well, you know, if I get like 300 hero cash for 99 cents, then that's like a bunch of plays. Right. Right? Like, I can, I can, I can play several songs and... and so for, let's, for do, let's do the cents. math real quick then. 300 hero cash is 99 cents, and then how many... It's it's around 15 cents a play. Okay. Which is totally not unreasonable. But if you play a song that you like a lot... Or you want to practice that song... Yeah. That's a problem. That, there is no practice mode. Right, because it's like three bucks a song now for Rock Band 4, Yes, right? so that's the distinction that's being made here, is that you have 
the option in rock band to ha- get a song and own it forever mm-hmm. and it's just yours but it's really expensive if you want to get a lot of songs yeah here you can buy very low cost uses of a song mm-hmm. but you never can own it now one other thing that you can do is that you can buy a six dollar pass for 24 hours this is a structure i really like actually even though I'm generally not in favor of microtransactions or or heavy monetization of games. Mm -hmm. I like the idea that this growing catalog of Guitar Hero songs, I can get access to all of them. 200 right now by by Christmas, I think they're aiming for around 270 songs. Mm -hmm. And if I pay $6 on a night I'm having my friends over, I can have all those songs. And that's pretty cool. It's like the cost of renting a movie or something. Right. It is real money. Uh, If that turns you off, then... There you go. Yeah. Um, these these more individual transactions are maybe the ones that really get to me. So just to be clear, yeah. Buddy Holly, Weezer. Yes. Yes. I like that song a lot. Yep. I cannot buy that. Nope. You cannot buy any song in TV mode. All the songs in live mode, those 42 mm-hmm. songs that where you have the live action thing going yeah. on, you own those. Okay. They're offline, um, and those 42 songs kind of are, are th- part of the game. Mm-hmm. Here's the other thing, though, about this whole currency structure that frustrates me. In addition to it being the pathway to have freedom to play the game that you want, it is also the pathway to progress. When you get coins, you can use them, as I have here, to start leveling up. As a a guitar hero or a rock band player, increasing your maximum multiplier is a big deal. Yeah. Right? Like, that's something you really want. If mm-hmm. I can go from times four to times five as yeah. a potential multiplier, that's significant. That's a really big deal. And so if I save up my coins, I could get the next level of that. Meanwhile, you're slogging through a bunch of songs you don't necessarily exactly. want to play. Exactly. And so it becomes a choice between playing the songs that you want to play and progressing. And that is a, a formula for, for frustration as mm-hmm. far as I'm concerned. I don't want to have to make that decision as a player. I want the progress that I make to contribute directly to me growing as an in-game player and like progressing my skills and all that kind of stuff. Just in case you weren't annoyed enough about this structure, you even have to pay coins in order to buy uses of the hero powers. Oh no. And so if you wanna, for instance, increase difficulty level, which is kind of an interesting thing to do because you could get more points on a section of a song Mm -hmm. that you know you could play well. But I you can't go, practice the song. No, you can't. And so you go in here and you say, I want to get five uses of the dial up hero power. Yeah. It's not a lot of coins. It's 280 coins. I could get that by playing like three songs. Right. But again, that is instead of spending that money to get more plays. Right. God. So I mean, it's, a, it's a really interesting idea and in, in much the same as like, the way when Diablo 3 first launched, that yep. was a really interesting idea. <laughs> like, the, obviously Activision Blizzard addressed it in that game. I'm wondering if the powers that be will kind of take what I'm assuming will be feedback into consideration with this. I, and- I sure hope so, because I really like this game. I mean, these, these are cosmetic upgrades, by the way. I'm looking at right now. These are note highways that are different. Another fun idea Yeah. Um, that is that I, will, I didn't spend really any money on because, like, I want it plays. Mm-hmm. I want it to play more of the songs I want it to play. Right. Because as much as they're pushing these two music video channels as being this revolutionary way to interact with video ga- with music video games, I don't buy it. I, I don't... I, that's not how I like to play music games. Maybe somebody out there that is, that they just want whatever song is put in front of them, mm-hmm. and they're cool with that. And I do like having variety in the songs that I play. Um, I, and I often have used... Guitar Hero and Rock Band as a music discovery tool yeah. to find songs like, oh, I've never heard that before. But that doesn't necessarily mean I want no choice, right? Mm-hmm. If I come down here and I hear Bullet for My Valentine and I'm like, oh, this sounds like a pretty cool song. I want to check it out. Yeah. Um, I hear the preview. I want to be able to hop in and just play it. And as it is right now, I can't really do that because I'm about out of... Out of uh, plays i feel super guilty for squandering that one play no it's it's not that big a deal uh (laughs) that's enough of a deal to be annoying though yes Uh, and so uh i think that uh i have very ambivalent feelings about this game um 
I think that there's things that they've done here that make the game really interesting mm -hmm. and really unusual and something that uh, people should check out if they're fans of music games. But I really hope, by the way, here you can see if I want this hero power, I can't use it right now. So I'm going to use the one that's free, which is really boring, frankly, which is clear the highway. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like that one because it basically takes me out of playing. Um, and I like the new guitar. I like yep. this having to learn, have a new challenge. Um, but the the currency thing just is a turnoff for me. Mm -hmm. And I hope that they do something to change it. I think Freestyle is a great developer of music games, yeah. and I hope that they do get some feedback about what's going on here, uh, and they can work with Activision to to do something to give people an opportunity to not have to constantly think about currency and managing currency. Yeah. Well, all they really want to do is rock out with some good music. Mm -hmm. um, so I wonder if it like you just begrudgingly end up buying a bunch of party passes because in the long run it ends up being cheaper if you're planning on spending a couple hours on a weekend playing maybe. The game by yourself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the ironic thing, right? In order to practice the game, what you, what a lot of people will end up having to do is to buy a party pass to play by <laughs> themselves in their basement. Table for one. <laughs> Table for one. Uh, yeah, because the whole point is that you're being stacked up against other people, yeah. and you probably want to do well. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, that's, I think, a pretty decent look at both the highs and lows of what Guitar Heroes got going on this year. Um, I was going to say, like... I mean, well, now I, there's no other way to do this without sounding like a super creep. But I mean, this is like, if you're just a person watching, it's more engaging too in this mode. Yeah, I love like, the music videos, hey, music right? Video. Like, this is a, like a weird little music video. This yeah. is not a song I knew well, but prior to playing Guitar Hero, and I'm like, yeah, hey, this is a fun little song. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and so I love that. But yeah. uh, I think you got to go in with your eyes open on this one. Yep. And possibly wallet. <laughs> with your wallet open as well. Uh, so I think that'll do it, guys. Yeah. Thanks for watching Test Chamber. Uh, we'll have, uh, I think, probably more coverage of both Guitar Hero and Rock Band throughout the holiday season because yeah. I know a lot of people are going to be looking to make a decision about where they spend their money this year. Yeah. Well, you should keep playing even when we're off the air because I don't want you to have felt like you've squandered all your money. <laughs> you got it. Right. Uh, well, thanks, thanks for everybody. watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you later. Right, bye.